Stevens Institute of Technology has become one of only two universities in the United States to join the newly formed eight-member IDS Shear Innovation and Education Network. Launched last month in Germany, this business process management network will allow the Hoboken Institute to apply its academic research to industry, bridging the gap between the academic and corporate worlds. Here at Stevens, we've been involved with business process management for a couple of years, and this network is a collaboration between industry and academia. It is sponsored by a software vendor that produces a business process mapping tool that companies use to document their operations, and it's made up by eight academic institutions that do research in this area. They have different strengths. Um, some of the institutions work more on the software technology side, so they're looking to build systems to help companies. Others work more on the strategy side, so trying to find ways how to use the software in practice. And this collaboration allows us to work with these international partners and with industry, talking to customers, uh, talking to the needs of the industry. How did Stevens mm -hmm. come by being, being a part of this? How did they get involved? You're just one of two in this country, mm -hmm. eight worldwide. We've worked with IDS Shear, the company that's sponsoring this network, for a number of years um, doing research projects and uh, they helped us giving us data for research. Um, in academia it's important to understand what the needs of industry are. So they have shown us how they use their product in practice and we've talked to some of their customers to try to figure out what the things are that industry doesn't have time to solve. But in academia we have a longer time frame where in industry you're looking at three months projects or six months projects. We can look three years out or six years out. Um, so we can do longer lasting research and development in this area and that's a benefit. We get the real world data and they get the more longer lasting forecasts. Philadelphia's Widener University is the only other U.S. academic institution in the network, joining schools in Japan, China, Canada, Germany, Australia, and the Netherlands.